Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to take something that messed up and hopefully turn it into an awesome experience. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Welcome back. Hope y'all having a great day. Check it out, the new Alex Steele shirt. Gotta support my fellow YouTubers. So anyway, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know I was grinding on this knife. It's, this is a knife I made for uh, Heath over at Shepherd's Forge. You know, one of my good buddies. I got it down, I was almost finished, and grind lines were real clean and all that. And all of a sudden I noticed this spot. It was like right here on there. So I'm grinding and grinding. Now, I've been up all night working on Steve's knife, trying to finish that. I've even got the video like three quarters of the way done, but I figured I'd come down and do this video because I, I, I want to get Heath's knife done. I told him I'd try to get it before Christmas for his dad. So anyway, I was grinding on this knife. Here, let me switch lenses so we can see if we can see the defect. One second. All right, that's better. If you look right here, the blade curves. And it's real soft. You can see it flex. See that divot right there? Well, if you look down the blade, it goes like this. It goes, woo! Everything's nice and straight. Up to that point right there. And if you push on it, it flexes real easy. See that? I don't know if we can pick that up. But, yeah. I was like, man, why is that crooked? And then I realized it was a soft spot. Now, as much as I would love to blame the steel, I think it's just that I was up till 5 a.m. grinding. Hold on, let me put the other lens back on so I know what I'm doing. One second. Much better. This steel and the steel that I'm heat treating now was made out of Admirals. And it's where I actually failed. So I made two of these because I was going to do a test. I'm going to put that video in the last video where I did the 52100 up here. And you can watch them. Because one of the things I did is I didn't put any scale on the last knife. So on this one, I just used the clay and the wire. Just like in the first video where I did the 1095 Hamones. And I put it back in the oven. No anti-scale. I'm always using anti-scale. So I'm going to see if 1095. I just want to know if anti-scale is just a big hyper if it works. If we take this out and dunk it and all that. And we have scale on the blade. We know that the anti-scale is good. 52100 and 80 CRV, which both have chromium in them. The anti-scale was useless. The, the decarb just wiped right off with my gloves. So I want to see if that works with the 1095. The oven's up to about 1300. We're not going to have any slow motion or any special effects. It's just this. And it's, the knife's already been normalized and even heat treated, but it failed. As you'll see in that video up here. For the next shot, it's just going to be me taking it out and dunking it. This is going to be a short video, but I just want to see how the anti-scale works. Let's get to the oven. So, temperature's at about 1495. We're at about 115 on here, 112, 113. So we're heating it up a little bit. So what I did, because I, I was going to install this on the door, but it didn't have time to dry and all that. And I haven't gotten to this stuff yet. So what I did, <coughs> I just took pieces of this kale wool and stuffed it all around the door. And it worked really good. But that means my oven isn't auto-tuned anymore. So it goes up to 1496, kicks off, and goes back down to 1490. So I think we're good. Gonna kick this off. You know, anything over 1475 is pretty good, and it's been soaking for a while, so. Let me get my gloves on, my beat-up gloves. I need to get a new pair. So when I open this door, you're going to see everything fall out. That's just the carol wool. Get the other camera turned on. Uh, yeah, see, it's not going over 1496 because the light kicks off, then it goes back down. 
So once I get that door fixed, I'm gonna have to auto tune it again. So here we go. See everything just fell out. Remember, it's 1095, so we only want to do the front. Definitely need a new pair of gloves. Took the fire extinguishers off the ceiling again because of the smoke. So see, we got scale build up. Let me turn this oven off. That fan really seems to be working well for that. All right. Yeah, see? So 1095, you definitely need any scale. I think with 80 CRV and 52100, it doesn't make as much of a difference. Well, it seems to be coming off pretty good. <laughs> That's one thing, this wire works good for holding that cement in and stuff. But it sure does make it a pain. Well, you know what? Look at that. And this is just from the flame. I have a feeling I know this is gonna be hot. <laughs> oh that not too bad. Alright. Yeah. Time for some new gloves for sure. So here's the 60 and the 65. Well, see there's still some scale here and some scale here. But the places where there is no scale well actually so here's some scale here, and here's some scale here. It keeps catching on these little spots where I had the clay, so. Let me sandblast this real quick, and then we'll do the file test again. All right, here we go. Just a fast blast on both sides. I forgot to hook up the vacuum. That's the compressor you hear running. It's not too bad, but it's a lot better when you hook up a vacuum. All right, let's see how this looks. All right, man. So check that out. You can still see where the hormone is. 
And you can feel it inset like nice. All right, 65, skates real nice. But I don't understand, it skates up here too. Oh, no, there we go, we're biting. Okay, so see, there's still much, I can feel it. This is, 65 still bites back there. Oh, there we go, and there's a 60, yeah. See, once we scratched off that scale with that, now it's biting. So, I was like, what? See, back here it's skating. But once you scratch off that scale, it starts to bite. So, that's good. Yeah. So, well, this is clay up here, where the clay was. But down here... We're good. I don't, I, t I brought the clay all the way up to here, so I don't think it would do any good to put it on the HRC tester. That's why I broke out the files. Look nice and straight. So I'm going to temper, do one cycle for two hours at 400, and then uh, check and make sure it's straight, and if it's straight, we'll put it back in and all that. But I think that's about it for this one. Like I said, it's just going to be a quick video. I wanted to test out to see if the anti scale works. Now, with 52100 and anything with chrome like ADCRV and stuff, I don't think you need it. But for stuff without chrome like 1095, 1084, I haven't tried 01 or any of that, but it seems like you need it. Just a light coat because, man, even after sandblasting, you could see how much of a pain that was. I had to. I had to scrape underneath just to get a uh, testing. And and that's the thing about scale. If you don't take the scale off and you take a file or something and you skate it, you'll be like, oh man, this skates. But you can see, let me get a 50. Let's see how far down this goes. Here's the 45 where I scratched it. See, back here is so soft, even the 45 is biting, but only in the spots that I took it off. So there is scale back here. And that's the problem with scale or decarb or whatever you want to call it. It'll give you a false reading. You know, you all of a sudden your file was skating, but your file's not skating on the steel, it's skating on the decarb. All right, hope this helps. From now on, 1095 and all that, I'm definitely using anti scale. I mean, you know, you got to surface grind this and all that anyway, or, or clean it up on the grinder. Uh, I don't know. The paint on the anti scale only takes a few minutes, and it saves a lot of time just to wash it off with soap and water. So, thanks for watching. If you like content like this, remember to subscribe, share with your friends, you know, let people know. If you know any knife makers that are starting out or need some help, Let's build this community to help each other. All right. Amazon links down below. Links to my website for knives and shirts and all that are down below. Hope you're all having a great day. And as always, take it easy. So, we'll see. Whoops. <laughs> There's one for the bloopers. We'll see. Got to support my, uh, got to support my, Check it out. Curve in the blade. There's a curve in the blade. You can see, I noticed there was a curve in the blade, right?